Hey guys, it is um, Saturday, April 18th at noon. Um, I wanted to post this video because um, I think it's a good follow-up to my last video and talking about um, you know being out and having a loud visible voice and so on and so forth and and um, and being really positive and happy about that and then having having it followed by an experience that I just had um, so I'm, I'm graduating from college in like a month and um, sending out grad announcements and realizing that I don't have very many people I can send grad announcements to with regards to my family um, because um, there's some people in my family that actually don't know that I've transitioned um, and they don't know because of um, my mom or different people in my family asking me to not tell them because um, they have medical stuff that they're going through cancer and some different things and and um, and I don't see them really all that often but um, you know a graduation from college would be something that I would send to them but I kind of I feel like I kind of can't um, and I'm not real big on that can't language because I, I generally don't believe in giving people power over what I can and cannot do but um, it would be difficult to send a grad announcement saying Aiden Kennedy when they only know me as um, somebody else with a female name and so forth. So um, I'm, I was sitting there looking at my list and, and just realizing that it's really short and kind of feeling sad about that and, and um, wishing that that were different. Um, and then I call my mom to get some of the addresses of the, of the three people in my family that I'm going to send a grad announcement to and my niece answers the phone and um, she's seven and um, I um, it is my brother has decided that I'm not allowed to see her anymore or speak to her have any sort of interaction with her um, so she doesn't know anything she still thinks that well, what I assume she thinks is that her aunt just disappeared from her life and um, no one really talks about me as in Aiden, the, the, the current me. Um, and that's been a source of a lot of sadness for me and grief because um, um, she's, she's just a kid and um, this person who she loved and adored and adored and loved her just isn't around anymore and so I call and my niece is at my mom and dad's house and she answers the phone and um, she says who is this and um, and I panicked and I hung up the phone because I felt like I was left with two options um, saying this is your aunt so-and-so with my old name um, which I think would have been difficult and confusing for her because clearly there's a male voice on the phone. Um, or I could have said, this is, this is Aiden. She can read it. She saw Kennedy come up on the caller ID. And so I don't know how that would have been for her. Um, so I, I didn't know what to do in that particular moment because, um, I don't, I don't feel like it's, I don't know, it is it is my place and yet it isn't my place to determine and decide what what my brother wants for his, his daughter. I mean, it's a confusing place to be in. Um, so I hung up the phone and just was overwhelmed with sadness and um, that um, what, I, what I would have loved to have been able to do is talk to her and, and you hear about she's playing softball now and she's doing all of these things and and uh, to share in that with her like like adult did for me when I was a kid you know and and um, 
to be part of that and in particular because I know um, that she may not get the kind of support um, around some things about her from other people that maybe I can really support. I don't really want to go into detail about that because it's personal information about my family, but um, you know, it's it's a it's a sad thing for me, and and it was kind of a moment of realizing that no matter how many classes I speak in, no matter how many YouTube videos I do, no matter how much how how out I am in my world, it's all none of that, none of that fills the hole that's inside of me about not having a relationship with my niece. Um, and it's not that I'm doing that stuff to fill that hole and not. I'm doing I'm doing the things that I do because I believe in it and it and it is something um, that I can do and, and so forth. But uh, I don't know, just the process of of being out to hundreds of people and then not not being seen or being out to one person and and how devastating that can be in that moment. So, um, my point in making this video is for me to kind of document my own process. Um, so as I look back in, in some period of time, um, I don't know. I, I have this. I have this moment. I wanted to. I wanted to capture this moment. Um, like I said in, in a couple of my last couple of videos, is that I'm, I'm approaching my one year. It's on April 23rd, and and. Um, it was exactly this time last year that I came out to my family, and um, so it's been one year since I've seen people in my family, and uh, it's interesting how time travels so, 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 so fast sometimes. Like, the last year has flown by, um, and how different I am today than I was a year ago, and how there's people in my life that I love who don't know me and I don't know them um, there's been things that have happened in my family there's been medical emergencies there's been divorces there's been um, you know children that have been born that I have no relationship with at all because um, life continues moving forward everybody's life continues moving forward and, and how easy it, it is to lose touch with other people's lives moving forward as as my life has moved forward in this direction. So, uh, I think that, um, I think I wanted to, to just put a voice to this in case other people are experiencing it as well, to know that you're not alone and, um, and to really honor um, the sadness of it and the grief of it and uh, um, to acknowledge that. So, all right, later.